Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alexis. I'm 19 years old living in Alberta, Canada, and on my channel we do modeling, lifestyle, and small business slash sustainable Sundays. If you would like to get to know more about small sustainable Sundays and the products that I review genuinely with my honest opinion, I highly suggest you hit that subscribe button for more videos. Without further ado, let's jump into some of our products. Today we're going to be reviewing four different items. Some of them I got as Christmas gifts and some of them I gifted to other people, but all of the items I got today were from a brand called Etsy. It is an online shop made for small businesses where you can shop directly from their stores. It is easy and simple to use. I highly suggest you guys go check it out. This is my Etsy page. It is open to the public, so all of my ideas I have saved on boards, and most of these items, if you guys are looking to purchase them or something similar to them, I will have them saved on my page. So let's get into our first product. Our first product are these stockings from Debra Boutique. I got them custom made for my dogs Cujo and Zoe. They are so incredibly cute and I got to stuff them with all of their Christmas gifts. They got new toys, bones, and lots of treats and this definitely held up to the case. I was looking on other boutiques and places here in town that did stockings but honestly they were so poorly made and they were so thin that I know either a, if I put something too heavy in them, they would rip or they would easily get damaged. But honestly, these standed the test of time for sure. And they looked honestly so freaking cute. You can get them custom embroidered to whatever you like. These can be for family, friends, or pets. And this is how I got mine. I got Zoe's in a light beige color with her engravings in a red. And I got Cujo's in a nice bright red with his engravings in a nice white. Let's talk about packaging. These got sent to me in a plastic bag with plastic wrapping, which I wasn't the happiest about, but I do understand how every business is different and every business ships differently, but I do wish they were a little bit more eco-friendly on their shipping. Let's talk about quality. The quality of these pieces are super nice. They are very thick and durable, like I was saying earlier. They don't have a lot of stretch to them, which is really, really nice. Most of them are either really cheaply made and you can easily stretch and pull it like a slinky, but these are very durable and strong. Even when I hung them on my wall with all of their bones, chew toys, everything like that, it was probably around five to seven pounds and it easily hung up on my wall without stretching or being deformed. This is a couple weeks after Christmas and as you can tell it returned to its original sides absolutely no problem. I highly recommend you guys go check them out and if you have any more products similar to this just leave them down in the comments below. These stockings are handmade by a small sustainable business and they can be personalized with every order. Moving on to our next item. Small business I would like to talk about is Cali Boutique. They are a small brand on Etsy that specializes in handmade jewelry. Their pieces are 100% handmade and most of them are very authentic, either gold, brass, silver, whatever you choose, they have a full range and selection made for you. I got this gorgeous bracelet from my boyfriend Logan for Christmas. It is a simple gold band and it is very nice. One thing I really like about this jewelry so far is that it has a bit of weight to it. With most cheaply made jewelries, they are very light and bendable, but this one is very strong, sturdy, and has some weight to it, which is really nice. I wear it with almost every piece. I like jewelry that is very simple and versatile. You can wear it with multiple pieces and it's not too crazy, so it's something that I wear every single day. But if I have some crazy outfits on or I'm doing any modeling, it won't take away from that, but it just adds a little something on the side. Let's talk about packaging. It came to me in this box wrapped in tissue paper, which I absolutely love. This box is what I store it in when I'm not using it to make sure it is safe and I know exactly where it is. And it came in a paper bag, so it is all good check marks for me. I highly recommend you guys go check this brand out. This piece was $24. I do believe it was on sale on Boxing Day though, so I think it was down to like, I think 20% off, but I highly recommend you guys go check them out for simple jewelry pieces. Moving on to our next product. 
which would be this charcuterie slash cutting board that I got for Christmas, also from my boyfriend Logan. We are trying to go for a more rustic, homey feel in our house, and we're really trying to invest in really good pieces that will last us a very long time. He got this off of Etsy from a shop with Gunnar Newman. He has a bunch of different selections of charcuterie slash cutting boards in all different sizes, colors, shapes, whatever you can imagine. You can even get them custom engraved with anything that you would like over on his website. So this one is, I believe, is the Rough Edge Medium. It is super thick and it honestly feels so nice, which I absolutely love. I will probably use this more as a cutting board than charcuterie board, but this is the board that I put together today. Let's talk about packaging. When it got shipped to me, it was in a cardboard box with biodegradable packing peanuts, which I absolutely love. Then the cutting board was in this burlap sack, which I will definitely use either to store it or I will use it to store other things when I'm not using it. Then it was in a plastic wrap, which I wasn't the happiest about, but I'm not sure if that is necessary for the board or not, but if I ever order anything in the future, I will definitely ask if I can have that removed from my product. Other than that, this product is so far a 10 out of 10 for me. It is super stable and reliable, and it is super easy to clean. I've also had it in the dishwasher a couple times, which I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that, but it is held up in the dishwasher. So it is a 10 out of 10 for me, and I definitely recommend you guys go check this brand out. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up on my small business Sundays so you guys can know more about these amazing brands. Like and leave a comment down below if there's any other products you guys would like me to try. Head over to my Instagram for small business Sunday peaks, Saturday questions, and a bunch of other posts and social media things. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.